Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Bros. Peach Adventure. In the last episode, we did the stone. We did World 4, or... Yeah, we did... Yeah, World 4, which was the... The... The food one. Now we're doing Giant. Now we're going into World 5, which is Giant Jungle. Here we go! Which is, yeah, forest. Poison... I didn't even read it. So, yeah... It's the giant stage from, like, the giant from Mario 3. Like the big world in Mario 3. And being in a forest is probably as a reference to... Or I guess the big... Or that's the giant level in Super Mario Bro, New Super Mario Bros. U. will come out to fight regardless of how close they are so watch out Yeah, the background is from Mario Maker 2. My same, I don't exercise my same muscle much, much, but maybe I could fill in for your absent friend. Only if you like me to, uh, only if you like me to, of core. Really? You don't? Never do you do that for donkey? <laughs> you do that for donkey? Prince is the best donkey tank. Donkey tank. So start soon. We get ready. Okay, so we watch this little. We we watch this. Okay, so now we just this. Now we just got this cutscene right here from us. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Donkey Kong Express looks like the Donkey Kong. It's the same exact break from Donkey Kong Arcade. The music is just, it's the Sprofolia Country too. And he just, just reaching up. That's kind of funny. And all the Yonder Fro, and all the, and all the Yonder Fro and Bananas. It's pretty funny. I don't remember this. They love, they love us. Hey, great doggy, take Princess Troop Fred. Doggy fell, the shuddy, please take. So, yeah, Doggy Dog is pretty happy.
I think I forgot that cutscene even existed. That's actually, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, thanks, Prince. You did it. One thing you're not too strong. You know, especially, you know, you, you, you yeah. I like this ROM hack, it's definitely a pretty, it's definitely the best, it's probably one of the best Mario ROM hacks there is. I wonder how long this took to even, I wonder how, I wonder how long this even took to make this ROM, but probably a long time. Cargolinge Cave. That's, you know, this was this you know this was done on again this was done this wrong it was yeah it was done with, I didn't need any more wrong hack in general it was done with lunar magic so 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 this one is being deep head down because the because that's poison. It doesn't even look like poison though. It looks kinda like it looks like green, filthy, dirty water. So you ride these rifts just like Well it was like a poison marmot too, so like it makes kind of sense. Why do like it doesn't even look like like poison or lava. Kinda looks like Kinda looks like yeah, filthy water. But you can't swim in it. So it looks like we got a giant version of this is a looks like this looks like the low, looks like one dash two from Super Mario Bros. Two Bros. The Lost Levels or Super Mario Bros. Two Japan. There's vines because this stage is big. The coins do give you the big coins do give you like like I think like five coins. I think that part was like it meant to be a star, but it's not. Or maybe it is, I just don't remember. Oh, I'm over it. I well, they got a vine right here though, but you can't go down it. Even these pipes, like there's like a sub area like right there, but like again, there's no they didn't really put the sub you can't really go in the sub where sub areas. This is big. Like this is Oh I almost died down there. No, it, would just, it wouldn't be good if I died down there. So yeah, that's that's that. So yeah. I also I did I did I did actually log into my hundred percent profile, the one I kinda of played blindly. My first played is yeah, there's I think there's like seven rolls including a couple of bonus ones. Too, so yeah, and then I wanna 
I don't really want to spoil this, but we'll have to, we have to wait and see. But if you get all the coins, or something else will happen. So there, yeah. That's that's the thing I'm gonna tell you. I wonder who would Donkey Kong substitute by when they were Diddy Kong. Here we go. Probably. Who knows? So we got, I forget the level, but Stormy or whatever. So yeah, it's all, it's rainy. Oh, I landed the poison. Poison, cool. Here we go. So yeah, you know, as this video is getting, as this video is getting out, you know, happy launch day to Princess and Show Clan. You know, by the time this video, well, by the time this video is uploaded, yeah, this, this, it's fully the launch of Princess Peach Showtime though. So yeah, I I'll have I'll have I'll have an unboxing video for you guys. So you guys are oh there's Waluigi. Wow! Hey Peach! You like Waluigi's shiny star coin shiny? Mm, you want it? We Why go ahead, it's better than Mario getting it and it's messed on it. Sorry, kid. So yeah, so I guess we'll be seeing two. I guess you'll be. I guess you guys. I guess you guys are in there for a treat because we'll be getting two videos on Friday. There, I guess. And then I'll probably will tell me maybe the next video. So the pink mushrooms are springboards. If you're kind of, if you didn't really recognize it, oh, I. Kind of wondering, got six spines, so yeah. And... Oh, looks like the storm stopped. Oh, it's still going on. There's no rain anymore. It's already spring now, actually, so happy spring, too. We didn't have really a lot of warm weather, though. For. for So bubbles and bill. This one, this one is an auto score. So I, think, I think I think it's the first auto score. Oh yeah, this is the yeah this is actually yeah I remember this is actually it's the first auto score in this game in this pack I'd say. You know, what? there's not too many auto score levels in this one. Mario 3 is like... And the music, yeah, it's Mario 2. I think it's the All-Stars one, yeah, they, it's just, yeah, it's... You know, it's actually just ported on here. Maybe because... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really sure Mario Posters was even used the same engine as Mario Roll, but it has the same like some effects. Nope, didn't know you. Yeah, this will okay, so we got key switch here. Which you can't actually. You know, I like the piece, which you actually can't. Oh, wow, the, 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 the leaf's gone. You can't. Okay, so it's not an for anymore. We're flying on this, this, the, the, 
the block. Oh, wait, never mind. It gives you four big coins. I said five. I don't really, I don't think I really spent any coins, though, on this. So far, I haven't really bought any items. Oh no! Here we go. Wait, hold on. I could, I could maybe skip this, right? Yeah, was, you know, yeah. Like it's always worse if you die, and because if you if you do, you lose all your coins. Like, okay. here we go. You know, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna probably I'm actually gonna probably skip this level. I'm gonna try to skip it though, at least. I don't think it's pay toad, pay toad. The feather is two hundred coins. Wait, never mind. It just doesn't go in your inventory. It just Totem or Belgian Sensei's story. Belgian Sensei's story is probably is definitely probably my favorite Mario Luigi game. I don't know why, I just I don't know, I just love I just like it. I just like it. I don't know, you know. Last month was the last month was the you know funny enough, last month was the was the was the the fifteenth anniversary for the Japan release. I think it came out in like I think Belgian Sensei Story came out in like February, I think I mean February or something like that in Japan, but we didn't get it until but we didn't get it until um we didn't get it until we didn't get it until like September. And in the remake is already like in the remake is already five years old now. You know, I was pretty young when that game came out. You know, I was only like, I was like, you know, six. Yeah, I was six years old when that came out. I think I remember, I think I, I sort of remember, I think I got it for Christmas. I think I got that game for Christmas. One year, I forget what year it was, but. But I remember, I, I remember. I just remember. I remember being on those, though I'd be like much later. So yeah, I have. Too bad we won't probably we won't be seeing another Mario Luigi game because you know, I'm, you know, because of you know, Apple Dream and you know, you know, went bankrupt. So they probably will never they probably will never be in our Mario Luigi game. Here we go. I guess the only RPGs we've probably seen is the Mario Mario Rabbits and and probably Pink Mario. Yeah, that Mario RPG remake was pretty good actually. Got thousand years to remake. I never played it though, but I'm planning to pick it up. I have played the Pit Mario, and I played you know Super Pit Mario, and then and then I, and then I played the first Pit Mario, and I played the other ones that kind of I played the the the, the terrible the considered ter the, the which are considered a terrible remix like sticker story, I was really yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not really in big in RPGs, like I said before, but it's Mario. You know, I always buy everything Mario related, though. You know, I've been a huge fan of, you know, I've been a huge fan of Mario probably, you know, probably since I was... You know, I've been a huge fan of Mario probably since probably, probably since I was probably first introduced to it. Like back in I forget how many years. I think I've been, I think I've played maybe I've probably been playing it maybe since I was maybe four. I, mean, I should probably say maybe I was like maybe three or, or maybe even four. I was not good at those games either. Why well, do you little kid? I need a little kid that plays games for the first time that are not really are great. I used to get so mad. At, I used to get like so pissed at them, but at some at some of the games, some of the games that some of the maybe non Mario ones I never really pass. But now I kind of got better at video games, so I can kind of... I don't really get pissed off as most part, but sometimes I do, because it's very stupid. Game development is, you know, some 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 stuff in the game are pretty s silly, I would say. It, is, it does make it get harder, like... It does make you get... it does get you harder. It does get difficult, though, some, some stuff, and... Dark Souls. I never played Dark Souls, but that's considered a Goomba Gorge. So as I was saying, yeah, I heard Dark Souls was, was a. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, you only really want a hard one, like a like a raw hack. Outside those guys, I want to check out Mario World Cover Quest. And and, and 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 don't say I warn you. And don't say and don't say it more. I don't warn. I warn you. A lot of those levels are so they're they're pretty long too. Oh, give me the key. I don't, I don't know. I don't think the I'm not even sure the key's even in this one. I don't think they, I don't even think it even is. Because you know when you know you usually get the feather, the, I mean the feather, I'm gonna say, which I like the feather, like it makes you, it make you, it make you fly and stuff. This odd-looking Goomba is practicing, practically begging to be jumped on. Peach, wait, what? Peach puts him and he puddies him. He must be out of his mind. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? What's wrong with him? What are these Goomba capes? Usually, like those, usually they're like mini Goomba, like Goombas. There's not really... Oh yeah, I can't bring the spring over me. I always forget. I always, I always kind of forget. I always kind of forget. Like I'm just used to Mario World, where you bring items to different suburbs with the pipes and stuff. It doesn't do this how wrong hack. The creator must have must have disabled it. Must have this must have find a way to this to to find a way to the, disable the pipe. Apparently, if you have like a feather, if you have a, if you have a, a leaf, you can get get the. Wins, but I unfortunately don't have that. Or another leaf. Or feather. Oh man, I'm all Mario World crazy again. It's kind of too bad it's not playing the, the forest, the forest, Mar green, forest green of Mario 1 from Mario Maker. Wings. Let's see. 
think we're like 25 minutes in this video. It, it's gonna be a normal long video, I apologize too. But this world is just crazy. So we get the fortress now. Big Boo's Bridge. So it's gonna get me a fight. Oh, stupid dragons. It's like it's a good suffer for a level. Like, you know, just. This is probably supposed to say what's also on our card on ROM hack. Well, maybe Mario, but anything. Okay, so I guess the orange, the orange punishments. If you stand on those, they can still get your ass. Your, they can still get you. What the? Oh, that's for. Oh, I did not know that was actually blocks. Here we go. You ever played um? What's the what's the ROM hack called? Also, on our ROM hack. That's also pretty hard. Yoshi's out. Yoshi's Island's Cairns of Revenge. That, that's... You want to challenge a ROM hack of Yoshi? That's, uh, that's also one. And I forget that one, that one ROM hack. It's good, like, W-S... W-S, I think it's called. Yoshi's Island hack, that's also a hard one. Cairns of Revenge was, like, one, I think it was, like, one of the first, like, the first... There's not a wrong hack, there is. There's not too many Yoshi's on, you know, and yeah, it's, that's, that's actually a, it's a pretty challenging ROM hack. It's kind of like Yoshi's on DS. Standards. Oh, no. Oh. Here's that one DS. You want to talk about like an if you want to talk about like a hard like Nintendo game, Yoshi's Island for Yoshi's Island DS. Maybe it's not that bad, but I remember saying that that you will probably will get you will probably will get furious and and punch your fist in your DS if you play that game. If you hundred percent that game. You will freaking get so, if for the for the secret the even the secret ones like you will get so freaking pissed off if you played the old if you hundred percent that game. Didn't say I warn you, but. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a one. Oh, you want to, oh yeah. Op, the Octo expansion DLC for Splatoon 2, that, that one, oh yeah, that one, that's, oh my god. You, you, don't even get me started. That was fun, but it had a lot of them that were freaking ass. Like there was some, there was some like levels that were pretty annoying, like the girl power station, like the, you know the one, oh yeah, I think it's called girl power station. You, you fight all those octolings, but you have to like avoid the guard, but there's like so many octolings, but you have to avoid them. You have to like full dodge them and stuff, but oh. You have to like be a good Splatoon player to, to beat that. Of course I'm not. I like Splatoon though, but I'm not like the great. I'm not like the. I'm, I'm alright at it though. In the splat. In the speaking of which, 
it, the Splash the Splash Fest is, is happening the same day as Peach Showtime, the same weekend. Why? Why does why do they have to like why does Nintendo have to put Splash Fest when the games come out? Like, God, it should have been last why not for the last week. I don't I don't hate you, Nintendo, but Jesus, everyone has everyone wants to play everyone wants to be focused on that. I don't know what else is also on hard Nintendo games, yeah, just to maybe some of the Zelda ones they have. Well, I guess some of the old games. I've heard some of the games are pretty hard though. No, no, some of them, well, games, you know, we all, they are pretty easy though, but you probably live in a new area where maybe players get freaking get pissed, get mad the most, like Fort, like Fort, like Dark Souls standard. So yeah, so. that so this one is okay so this is world I think six so yeah this is, that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>